Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's Greg here with the promise of the uh, introduction to my new buddy build with Paul, military model of Paul. We're both going to do the uh, Tack on Blitz Yad, Tang Yad Tiger early or late production. I haven't decided what I want to do yet. I'd, I really don't want to do a three tone camo, so I'm looking for inspiration. I keep looking, I'll find something eventually, but I don't want to do, um, you know, I'm just bored with it at the moment. As you can see it's a nice kit, it's uh, I think around about £40 mark, you get a metal barrel with it I think don't we? No? Oh no, no you don't with this one, it's the other one you do. It's, it's a blitz kit, you can, uh, it's supposed to be less less parts and easy to put together. It's from Tacom and the number is 8001, obviously it's 135 scale and if you can see there is the number. Nice artwork again. Jason, he gets everywhere, but I do like his uh, his uh, artwork. Sorry about the glare, and he does his figures as well. There's a couple of figures I've got from him as well, with some of the um, kits that I've got. A big beast, biggest tank, the tank destroyer of the Second World War, with the biggest gun. Let's see, we got a bit of CAD drawing there on the. Um, it's a CAD drawing. There's some. Pictures of the vehicle, uh, the different paintwork, and you see it's all tritonal. Tri it always look nice, but I just want to try and do something different. I don't know yet, but we'll, we'll sure see. And yeah, we just have the uh, just the normal stuff that's on the front, all the picture, and then uh, just put tack on. We get a sprue layout on this side, which is always nice to look at. You know, instead of opening the box, you actually get to see what you get for your money. Which I think is a great idea, and see a lot of people won't let you open boxes to have a look inside, which is understandable. So I'm going to do a full kit review. I'm just going to show you what uh, what's basically in the box. As you mostly know, it's been it's been reviewed a few times by other people. Um, you get PE, you get um, <coughs> a bit of copper rope. You know, all, none of it started. It's all. In a grey plastic. One thing I have done is me and Paul seriously to do this at the moment is I've made the tracks up. Just use these from China. Uh, we've got the copper, sorry the brass pins that go in as well, so it's even more ultra realistic. So these need blackening uh, along the way. So we've got those, two sides of those done. The ones here. Nice easy build. Put the only problem with these kit, with these ones I got, they're a slight in, an injection mark, so it must have been from a taken from a plastic one, I would presume. But I got them all out. It's fairly straightforward to get them out. Just in the centre there, I thought it was a bit strange. But like I say, I only paid. I think it was 19 quid, I think. And you got the brass pins with it, so I thought, yeah, let's, let's go for it and uh, as easy you come out. It's only white metal. So again, they're all done. I'm ready for the build. I shall just pop them there. Obviously, you've got the lower hole and the upper hole. Apparently, there's a major fit issue with this, but I'll see when I come across it. It's got nice, fairly nice detail. I'll probably add to that more rolled steel effect. It's subtle, it'll lose under the paint, but we'll add bits to that as well. And again, on the front, you got to see, as you can see, it's got a slight detail, slight rolled steel mark with a uh, weld seams there and the flame cup turned the weld seams again on the uh, where it's joined together weld seams aren't too bad to be honest I may take them out may not once we get to it and then obviously we've got the rear engine deck uh, the spare tracks which again will be used if I need to for the uh, if on the side depends on what I try and do wheels okay. I don't know whether is it one piece barrel? Let's have a quick look. Even though we're going to use it, no, it's a two piece barrel. So again, all the details are pretty nice. Again, let's tack on these. They are good stuff. I'm going to make a suspension workable again. Um, something I want to try and do if I go along that way. But I will make it the suspension workable. You know, these tracks I'm not going to use, even though they're nice. There's no injection marks at all, even in the long runs. Uh, short runs even, they're quite nicely detailed, and but 
before. Didn't want to, but what I want to try and do, uh, Lincoln length tracks aren't uh, what I want. So I bought a metal barrel as well for it. Obviously, have to uh, manhandle the one to make it fit. Uh, we have a PE set from Yam, which is for this actual kit, which is Tacom 00, sorry, 8001. So we have the side skirts. Oops, sorry. We have all sorts of side skirts, we have other bits and pieces. Uh, we have more grills on the back and other pieces again on the back. So, came, I think I came from China as well. So, we shall use them up as well. So let's put everything back in here. So, yeah, so this me and Paul will be doing this. I think Paul's just about finished his, uh, his HMS Nelson, and what a superb job he has done. It's absolutely stunning. It really is. I think it's probably his best ever build. You know, he's done everything with it. All the small guns are all PE, and it took him a long time to do everything. But from what I've seen of it, it's been certainly worth it, definitely. So look out for that. I'm sure we're going to be showing all the rigging and everything as well. He's done all that. It's been a long build, but going to worthwhile really really hard so I'm looking, I'm looking forward to seeing the final reveal again just to uh, just to see it finished right so yeah so that's what we're doing Paul's doing the same so we'll release this at the same time when he does I think he's got his uh, already done ready to be let loose on us all. Yeah, so yeah, nice kit. Should be a fairly simple build. But I say I don't want to do a tri tritonal, so we'll have a look, see if I can find anything nice on the, in on the internet. If anybody's got any ideas or pictures, can you and just stick them in the in the comments, and we'll go from there. With big, big help. It really will. So I've never built one. I've never built a. Oh, you had Tiger, did I? Oh yeah, I built the old, very old Tamiya one, which is now in the loft, in a, bo in a box. I think it was my second or third build. So I might bring it down just to see how far I've come since then. Again, we might do that. So again, thank you very much to all my new subscribers, new and old. And, you know, and the kind comments that I get every time, I still don't reply. It's just me being totally, totally lazy. It really is. I should be more respectful to you gentlemen I mean, you take the time out to watch my videos I should at least take the time to uh, re reply uh, so I'm going to try and do that again starting to waffle again now so this is Greg signing off and we'll catch you very very soon with the, uh, the start of a new build catch you later <laughs>